Okay, so what we're going to do now is go through the different phases of the cellular respiration process. So there's going to be four stages, and it's happening inside your cells, and the organelle that is going to be used for this is going to be this guy here called the mitochondrion. Now, some of the stages are going to happen outside the mitochondrion, and then other ones are going to happen inside. So the first stage is glycolysis. And one that's not shown right here that's going to happen right here is called pyruvate oxidation. Then you have the citric acid cycle, and then you have the electron transport chain. So those are going to be the four stages that we are going to use in order to get energy from glucose. Okay. Now, the first stage is going to be called glycolysis. And if we think about the way that that word looks, glyco is talking about glucose, and lysis means to break apart, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this reaction. So if you look here, remember how glucose is C6H12O6? So this picture is just showing you the six carbons, C6, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So what's going to happen is that is going to get broken apart in half into a three-carbon molecule here and a three-carbon molecule here. Okay, so we've got a six carbon molecule getting broken into two three carbon molecules. Now, one thing I want you to notice is we've taken two ATPs and we have made them into two ADPs, which means we've broken off that third phosphate off of two ATPs. So what that means is we've invested two ATPs. So we're down two ATPs at this point, okay? Now, the next phase, What's going to happen is NAD plus is going to get reduced to NADH. Now, hopefully you remember from the previous chapter what that means is NAD plus is picking up a hydrogen that's holding two electrons. So we have two electrons getting shuttled away here, and we have two electrons getting shuttled away here. Okay? Then, <clears throat> the next part, we have two ADPs being converted to two ATPs. Okay, so that's creating energy, and here we're creating energy. So, that's going to make two ATPs here and two ATPs here. Okay, so now if we, uh-oh, where'd it go? <laughs> if we go back to my little doodler here. Okay, so let's think about how this is going. So we had two ATPs that we used up in the beginning, so that's minus two ATPs, but we created four ATPs in the second part. So we've made a net of two ATPs for this stage. Okay, so we've actually created two ATPs. All right, so let's go to your notes and see what's going on here. All right, it is a 10 reaction pathway. You don't have to know all of the reactions. You might in a later class, but not in this one. All right, and it's converting glucose into two three carbon molecules of pyruvate. Let's take a look at this again. We started with glucose and we're ending with two pyruvates or pyruvic acids. Okay, so that's good. Then, it's going to occur whether or not oxygen is present. What I mean by that is that <clears throat> um, anaerobic respiration, fermentation, anaerobic respiration, all of them start with glycolysis. Okay, You're getting a net of two ATPs, which we just talked about. right? We invested two, but we made four. And four electrons are being harvested. What that means is that NADH, right? So we had NADH in that one picture, NADH at the bottom of the picture, so that's four total electrons. Okay, so that's going to be our first stage of cellular respiration called glycolysis. Now we're going to go on to the second stage. The second stage is called pyruvate oxidation. So if you remember, the end product of glycolysis was pyruvate right? Here's our pyruvate right here. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our pyruvate oxidation. So we're starting with pyruvate, and let's look at this picture. We're going into the mitochondrion now in this process, and let's see all these different things that are happening. First thing, we could see that NAD plus is getting reduced to NADH, so that means that we're collecting two electrons there, right? Because H carries two electrons. However, don't forget that this is happening twice. Why is this happening twice? Well, remember, we made two pyruvates, 
not just one, right? So this process here is happening in two locations, right? Okay, so we've harvested four total electrons because two from here and two from the other pyruvate that's going through the exact same thing. Then if you look here, we've created some carbon dioxide. Okay, so that's one of the reasons we breathe out carbon dioxide. Then we've got a coenzyme coming in here and that's going to um, be a part of this molecule and we're going to create something called acetyl-CoA, okay? So we've gone in with pyruvate, we've created acetyl-CoA, we've harvested four electrons and we've created carbon dioxide. Now let's go back to the notes and make sure that makes sense. So pyruvate gets converted into carbon dioxide and acetyl-CoA, all right? For each molecule of pyruvate that gets converted, remember, two are getting converted, one NAD plus gets reduced to NADH in order to carry electrons. Okay, one thing I want you to notice about that picture again, do you see any ATP being created? Hopefully, you're saying, nope, no ATP. And that's because pyruvate oxidation is going to be the only stage that doesn't make ATP. So in the next video, we're going to get into the last two parts of the um, uh, cellular respiration process. And hopefully, we can put this all together at the end.